All right, so here's an interesting one. The subject is, uh, is from Daniel Almanza Espinosa, and the subject is Hoovy begging for a job. Hi, Conan and Disco. Have you ever seen Who's Been Tude's recent social media, social media posts? I guess he's got a Facebook watch thing that he does. He's begging so hard at AAA for a shot at the, for the AAA Mega Championship. Also, he's one of those people that shoots hard on the promotion of Conan, but now he's trying to be seen as a big draw for Triple Mania, for Triple Mania 30. Conan, let me ask you a question. What are your thoughts about this? That's greetings from Monterey, Mexico, and thank you for the podcast, Daniel Almanza. Do you want to watch the clip? Um, didn't you say the Hoovy? Uh, how long is it? Is uh, two minutes. All right, let's watch it. By the way, Conan's a AAA booker, so this is Hoovy trying to pitch <laughs> himself for AAA. Bro, I saw something even funnier. Terminando de entrenar, motivado, entusiasmado con todos los el cariño que me ha demostrado. La verdad es que muchísimas gracias a todos los que me han apoyado y solamente pues quiero compartir con ustedes mi entrenamiento desde hace un tiempo quería compartirlo. Ahorita voy a subir este video rápido nada más para agradecerles. Es realmente motivante todos sus sus mensajes, todos sus entusiasmo y Es una historia como de Cinderella, regresar a Juventud Guerrera a su casa después de 30 años en una triple manía. Un sueño hecho realidad, pero la verdad es que la vida es un sueño. Y muchas gracias a, los, a este sueño que es lo comparto con todos ustedes. Juntos podemos hacer este sueño realidad. Síganme apoyando en las redes sociales de Triple A, a Marisela, a, a Dorian Roldán, a todos, hasta, hasta Conan, hasta Conan que, que está ahí. Les mando saludos, la verdad es que esto va más allá del, del bien y el mal, esto es algo de histórico que, que solamente nosotros podemos hacer posible, ustedes el cariño de los fans, el cariño de la lucha libre en general, porque eh, realmente es, ahorita vamos a platicar con mis amigos de, de Tampico Lucha y todas las redes sociales que han estado al pendiente, que esto se está volviendo viral, muchísimas gracias por el apoyo, ustedes saben que, eh, pues como me lo dice, no imagínate, 30 años que... Eh, pionero de Triple A, que este, la verdad sería un es un honor compartir esto con ustedes y lo vamos a hacer. Yo sé que lo vamos a hacer realidad eh, porque cuando el juego lo dice, el juego lo hace. Y esto es en dedicación a todos ustedes mis fans, de verdad, de corazón les aprecio, les, ap les los amo, son lo máximo y sin ustedes no sería nada y, y no estaría aquí entrenando y motivado. Ustedes son mi motivación día a día. Que Dios los bendiga. Gracias a todas las redes sociales desde Eh, Lucha Libre Online hasta hasta las pequeñas. A todos les mando un gran saludo y con todos podré compartir con ustedes alguna entrevista en algún momento. Les mando mis mejores deseos. Stay juicy. All right, before I before I ask Conan what he said, obviously because this was no no subtitles, uh, bro. Hoovy looks like he's twenty something years old. Yeah, he's incredible, bro. It's unbelievable. How little, like I'm looking like you're looking at that and that he's in his forties, right? Yeah, late forties. Absolutely, yeah. looks every bit of like. Mid twenties to late twenties, especially bro. After right. all the partying and drugs right. he did, right? He looks. Yeah. He looks like he looks great yeah. for his age. So what was he saying there? Obviously, well, he just cut a super super mega baby face interview, asking mm -hmm. the fans, you know, if he could be in Triple Mania Thirty because he's part of tri Triple A. You know, he was there from the beginning, and he's just basically asking them to support him. That you know. I think it's gotten traction. I'll find out today because I have a production meeting and I'm going to ask, hey, this Hooventude campaign, you know, are people actually asking for him to come back? I'm going to find out, through, you know, what they tell me today because they got the actual numbers. But he's one of the very few guys that have been openly campaigning, which I think is very smart. Now, as you know, I'm very hurt with Hooventude for the simple fact that at one time in, you know, disco, you used, we, we, you know, there were clicks in, 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 mm -hmm. in WCW. And one of the clicks was our click and you were in it and Hooventude was in it. But Hooventude was always up, always, you know, going into business for his own self, being jealous of other Mexicans. And he always had, he always seemed to have heat. Right. And then I fired him and Teddy Hart, I think are the guys that I've fired the most four times. And the only reason I ever brought them back is because they were so talented. And I also thought, you know, you got to give guys a chance. We all f up, including myself. Like you've never but given I, them the death penalty. You've always just given them the right, the, 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 the punishment. Right, because right, they were right. so talented, right. you know, more than anything. But they mega f up both of them. And I really, you know, at one time they, I used to call myself Al Davis because I had pure rebels on Triple mm -hmm. A. All like the craziest guys you could think of were in AAA because I thought, well, a Rebels will respect Rebels, but some don't. And they just went, and Hooventude always went into business for himself. And bro, it got to the point, Disco, 
When you hear this, you know you've got a problem. When you hear any of these two statements, dude, put me with anybody you want except Juventud. Mm. I heard that on more than one occasion. And if you put me in there with Juventud again, I'm going to beat his ass. Okay. Right. So when you hear that, bro, you've got a problem. Right. So I had to get rid of him. Then when he was on the podcast, you remember he wanted to money just for doing his segment and we weren't making any money. Right. You know, and he got offended. I think he thought I was like making money and hiding it from him. And he became very difficult. And what really hurt me is not the fact that he insulted me, but that he insulted Ray. Ray didn't deserve what he said about him. Right. Because Ray is about as beautiful as a person, just like you, bro. And I know I bury you a lot, but as I've ever met in my life. And it wasn't fair what you said about Ray. And it wasn't true. How long either. ago was that? I don't know about, but. So, you know, a couple of years. It's been like eight, three eight years, months, a year ago, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it was. And then what really hurt me, bro, is you know me, dude. Yeah, I can be a. I can be a. Bro, I got no problems admitting that. I'm not here running for mayor, you know? I just keep it how it is. But, bro, you know me, Disco. I would never try to hurt anybody in a ring, ever. Right. And not even Hoovy. And he went over a match, and he was like, yeah, can you believe this? He tried to hurt me there. What a brutal worker. What a this, what a that. You can talk about all my work all you want. Don't go out there and state as a fact I tried to hurt you because I couldn't live with myself. You know, right. when I have hurt people by mistake, like one time I hurt Lex Luger, I felt really bad, but it was an accident. I've been hurt by accident, you know, right. that was really hard for me to take what he said about Ray and the fact that he was trying to convince people that I was so reckless, I would purposely hurt him. Or he was another one, dude, you know me well enough that I went in there and complained because I had to do a job for him, bro. You know, I don't give a f about that. Right. Never have, never will, bro, because I was in a mark, you know? All right, so, so we, we get it. So okay, the, the, so I was mad at him. I, the, the possibility exists. You, you've, had your, you've constantly had these issues with him. You get pissed at him, you reconcile. You get pissed at him, you reconcile. Then there's a period of time goes by, you reconcile. Does the possibility exist that, that he might be in play for AAA, rec, a Triple Mania? Not for the Mega Championship, no. Not for the Mega, but, but would you be open possibly to view, use him on the show? Yes. Because I got a great spot for him. Yeah, give it to me. I got a great, I got a great spot for him. Give this, it to me. This would be the great spot for Hoovy to come out there and debut against Comorado with Joe, managed by Joe Feedy. Like, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> with with Comorado. With both dressed up as Comorado was on the last show with a lollipop. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> right, exactly. All right. Does, okay, Com next does Anthony, Comorado go over? Of course. Sweet. Next, because you, you, know, you can't put Hoovy over because, like, you know, he's got to like, do business. Right? Yeah, yeah.